We are going to talk about the brand new phone one. But not the phone one you're thinking of. Uh, no, not that phone one. The phone one. We're talking about the phone one. Oh, the phone one. No parentheses. Oh. Phone one. Oh, the phone one. Yep, by CMF, baby. Oh, wow. By CMF, by nothing. By nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the nothing phone one. It's the CMF phone one. It's the CMF by nothing phone the one. The CMF by nothing. That's yes. actually their brand name on That's Twitter. That's very funny. <laughs> CMF by nothing. <laughs> Anyway, uh, CMF is launching a new phone called the Phone One, which, not to be confused with the Nothing Phone One, it has no parentheses, so that's how you know the difference. Mm -hmm. Um, On July 8th, they're going to be talking a lot more about it. They're also going to be releasing the second generation of the CMF Watch and the CMF Earbuds. Okay. Now, if you remember correctly, the CMF Watch is basically a white-labeled Alibaba watch. Um, <laughs> because you could basically go on Amazon and search smartwatch and, and it looked pretty similar. much exactly the same. And if you're really not up to date, CMF is essentially the, would you, I'd call it the budget version or the budget company that nothing created, Yeah, which is very funny because yeah. nothing was Originally kind was of felt company. like the old budget OnePlus stuff. Which OnePlus was the budget. <laughs> yeah. <and then laughs> the Android phone. So here we are. <laughs> yeah, here we are. We're back. Three generations later, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but what's very interesting, and the reason I think this is so intriguing, the teaser photo of this is r- bright orange, very similar to like the rabbit teenage engineering Shocker. orange, and has a knob on it. Yeah, there's a knob. I don't know. It's at the corner of the device. I can't tell you which corner because it's zoomed in a bit far. It also looks like it has kind of like a leathery, that leather texture. Like a leatherette. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm intrigued. Um, Yeah. I mean. Some might say we like knobs here. We like knobs. Don't take that out of context. You're not going to play it? I don't have it on here. Wow. It wasn't voted on. (laughs) It wasn't voted on. (laughs) Yeah. The tweet says, introducing CMF Phone 1. Wonderful by design. Leveraging nothing's innovation and meticulous attention to design, it serves as a wonderful entry point for an entire product ecosystem. As others overlook this category, we're giving it our full attention. Coming soon. So, yeah, I'm wondering what a budget phone by the company that makes extremely cheap watches and earbuds is going to look like. Yeah, price as well. What the price will be, what it'll look like, how it will perform. So this is always... I. I'm excited to see what this knob does because mm-hmm. a really well built knob is like fantastic. That's like right. it is. <laughs> this is going to be impossible. I know. For our UK I know. Fans I'm sorry, UK to. fans. This is a tough one. But um, this my issue with like, I don't want to initially call this a gimmick, but when I think about like unique design choices, especially hardware wise, that we're seeing for the first time on budget phones mm-hmm. is always like the all right, you're already making sacrifices to performance for a budget phone. Now you're obviously spending dollar manufacturing dollars on something that's not normal. Mm-hmm. How much more performance sacrifices are we taking on that because we want to add a knob to a phone that's mm. probably, what would you guess, 200 to $300 Probably range? around that, yeah. Um, there are actually some other photos that they teased on Did Twitter. They? I yeah. missed that. So one of the photos is part of the phone with like a little screw. And then they also shipped a few people like little mini screwdrivers. So I imagine it's going to be like very easy to take apart. If it's a phone that has a replaceable battery, that would be epic. Awesome. Bringing it back. Um, that would be one way to get around mediocre battery performance is the initial cost would still be what it is but if you could buy a replacement battery Mm -hmm. that would be really cool and then could help that performance yeah i think that they all use the same sort of like knob their their design language is very consistent throughout yeah Mm. which is very i mean all the all the buds and stuff look pretty cool the video neck band and the buds both have an have a wheel this video sorry for my volume um, the left side of it, I think, is the phone, and the right side of it is the buds because that looks like just mm-hmm. a black version of the orange oh. one that we saw. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it still doesn't help us much more on what side it's on. Yeah. What would the knob do? I mean, maybe volume. volume. It would be cool if it was volume. Oh, I, I would love it. I'm yeah. so hyped on this. I'm just yeah. curious. Instead what, of a volume do. rocker, but th- let's take guesses on where we think this is because. Top or bottom of the phone? Bottom. 
bottom. bottom. Yeah, because then you can put the phone upside down in your pocket and you can just like reach in and kind of like twiddle it with your what, thumb. If I'm holding my phone though, how am I accessing? It's in your pocket that makes sense. Holding it normally, mm. it's either down here by my pinky on the bottom left your side, wrist. which feels really awkward to do, yeah. or I have to slide my thumb all the way down. I almost feel like top right, top right would so make the most with sense yeah, with my thumb. Right. You might be right. As a righty, unfortunately, yeah. lefties, you're not going to have a fun time. Actually, yeah. no. Right Could be left. Right yeah. finger would work also. I think the top. I will say I'm very excited about this, mostly because like the Nothing phone, for example, was basically a totally normal phone that just had like lights and the software was a little bit different. But seeing a normal-ish phone that has some interesting hardware quirks, I think is more fun. I love hardware quirks. Yes, because... Yeah. That puts us back in the days of Android where every single Android phone that came out had like a weird hardware quirk. And that was always very interesting. Now all phones are the same exact square boxes. Uh, so seeing a little bit different. Some of them fold. Excited. Some fold. Yeah. But if this is like 300 bucks, that's going to be really cool. Yeah. As long as it performs well, which I, I kind of think it'll be fine. I bet yeah. for the majority of the people looking in this price range, it will perform fine. Mm -hmm. And if you have a cool, unique Hardware quirk plus, and let's be the orange color that CMF uses is mm -hmm. fantastic. Yeah, like wonderful. So yeah, that could be awesome. The black now, also looks nice. It looks like it's a nice like matte texture. Mm -hmm. So I think what are the adding chances this comes to the U.S. though uh, zero. Yeah, <laughs> um, but I'm sure we'll have a chance to test it out at some point. Yeah, um, we... I do think the kind of faux leather, while it's not my favorite. Yeah, it's almost positive this won't be a glass back. But if Definitely you're going to do some plastic. sort of a cheaper plastic back, yeah. adding a faux leather to it can make it feel way uh -huh. more premium for a far cheaper price. Yeah, it's and a leatherette. That's, a that's something that they used to put on a lot of uh, film cameras a lot. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. I think it looks nice, feels nice, and yeah. again, more premium, cheaper price. Right. I like it. So I should clarify, uh, it's not necessarily coming out on July 8th. They just have a community update on July 8th where they're going to talk about it. Um, I still think Phone One is a terrible name for, for this, but you know. It's also funny because the tweet they have says, Buds Pro 2 and Watch Pro 2 join Phone One in the new CMF. It's just, why can't companies just line up all of their numbers? It's know. like, yeah, it has to always be off. Yeah, always. Have you ever seen something this blue before? It's, <laughs> remember we had that conversation about they don't make fun colors for things that are like the pro versions. Is this considered a pro version? It's not, but I that look at that, Surface? I'm like, it is pro? called the Surface Pro. Oh, it is pro. the first Surface Pro, so it literally is the pro version. I guess so, yeah. By name. Yeah. I look at it, I'm like, I love that blue, and then I'm like, I would never buy that blue. So You I wouldn't buy this? I understand why they don't make. You wouldn't buy this? I like it. I don't it. think I like so. It, I really like it. I it's very blue. Very it matches blue. your hat, kind of. There's more blue. Not, not at I all. Mean, it's, I mean, it's in blue. the sense that they're both blue. <laughs> they're yeah. both blue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad that they're keeping Alcantara for something. Like, yeah. I always thought it was a little weird on their laptops, but I weirdly liked it because it just felt like a Surface laptop when they had it. And Wait, I'm glad something about it. Or whatever they're considering it. Yeah, no, whatever it is. The fabric. The you fabric. know what the opposite of blue is? Like and subscribe. Green. I was going to say red, but. Is it red on the color wheel? I don't, I don't think it is. I was just trying to get to red for the subscribe. Is there button. anything. <laughs> oh, the subscribe button? Yeah. Is it actually the opposite though? What is the opposite of blue? Maybe I should just ask. No, the opposite of blue is like yellow. I was gonna say yellow, but then that's based on the color I mean, triangle. And is there an opposite? Well, yeah, this specific shade of blue, the opposite could be red. It's like a deep orange. I'm gonna red kind ask Copilot. Let's see. Are you pressing the button that does nothing? I did. No, it does something now because oh, okay. I had the FN button. Oh, right, I see, I see. The opposite. There's uh, still the blue. clips out here. Yes, I think so. <laughs> On the color wheel. Okay, it's. If you're watching, it's I appreciate the opposite it. blue. Of the if you like wheel. this video, it's yellow. You'll figure this out faster. Artists everywhere are just yelling at us. If you're looking to create a harmonious color scheme or neutralize blue, consider pairing it with yellow. Do you like blue and yellow, blue and yellow, blue, blue and, and yellow, yellow, blue and yellow. That might have worked well um, on the color things on the home screen of the iPhone. <laughs> yeah, you need complementary colors. Complementary colors. That's what I'm saying. Complementary colors, if it's all the same color, it doesn't look good, in my opinion. My most humble opinion. I'm but humble. you know what does look good? Hitting the Smashing subscribe button. Smashing that subscribe button. <laughs> That's right. Thanks. Bye. Do it. <laughs>